If you're looking for more precision in your design and you're using Adobe Illustrator, I'm going to show you how you can measure and make sure that everything's exactly the way it needs to be. So let's check it out. So I've got these shapes over here and we're going to do some measuring. So if you want a running measurement of what's happening here as you're working, you can go up to window and we're going to open window. And from here, we are going to look for two things. The first thing you want to look for is info. All right. So let's go ahead. Here it is. And let's open it up. It'll give you this window here. Now, this gives you real time info as you're moving your mouse cursor, as well as when you're selecting certain objects. Let's just move this up over here. The next thing we're going to do is go into window. And from here, we are going to look for transform. Now, this will allow you to view the information of each one of these shapes, but it doesn't give you a real time. So what you can do here is change the size alignment and the shape of any one of these tools. So let's select this one and let's change what is actually happening here so the width of this let's make it 250 you'll see now that the shape has changed you'll also see that the width and the height over here in the info bar has changed one of the other things that you can add here to keep your measurements real time is going up to view and coming all the way down to rulers and clicking on show rulers this will help you to see what is actually happening in your design. So on the left hand side, as well as the top, you will see your rulers. Now, if you're clicking down, you'll see that you can make marks. So if you're right clicking, you can change the unit of measurements from pixels to points, feet, inches, yards, millimeters. It depends on what sort of work you're doing here. The last thing that you can do is go over to your toolbar on the left hand side. And if you can't find a tool here, you can just hit the three dots. You can edit this toolbar and you'll find under modify a tool that's called a measuring tool. And it looks like a ruler or a comb. So once you click on that, you'll have it in selection. Just click on a blank space in your toolbar or the three dots again. And now you have it selected. Now what you can do is click down on any point of your design and draw a line to any other point and you will get a real time measurement. Let's have a look at how it works. And there you go, tons of ways of measuring an illustrator.